The Maruti Suzuki XL6 is a new concept from the market leader. While others have tried to take on the MPV space at two ends, value or sheer size, this is the first compact yet premium offering in the segment. Now, first thing I have to say is I'm kind of relieved and heartened by the fact that there's been no mention from Maruti, like some manufacturers have done in the past, who I shall not name, to try and call this an SUV. I mean, yes, there's been talk about certain SUV characteristics and appeal, but the tagline, very much premium MPV, it's a good thing because that is really what this car is all about. Now, why would Maruti have done this car in the first place? There's many reasons you can think of. It could have just been the ZXi++ variant of the Ertiga, if you will. But styling-wise, of course, this car looks very different. It isn't like the Ertiga, and so, I know I'll probably get into trouble for saying this, but think of it as an Ertiga Krista then, if you will. Now, why am I saying that? Because that is the target car that it's going after. You know, the top spec uh, Innova Krista, which a lot of personal buyers like. Yes, that's the kind of plush appeal that Maruti wants to go for, though at a much lower price tag. And uh, well, let's quickly run through some of that styling now. The face is completely different. In fact, Maruti engineers have shared with me that it's only the side flanks of the car. This is the only part of the metal that's common between the Etiga and this car. The rest of it, all new. The uh, hood itself has been raised and you can see that it gets a little bit of height and muscle. It's 95 millimeters higher right here at the highest point than the Etiga's hood. The face, of course, also has the much broader and very different grille. It does look a little SUV-ish, I have to say. It is a broader and bulkier bumper as well, which is why there's a marginal difference in length between the two cars as well. LED lights and also the LED DRL. So it does look kind of butch because of some of that cladding as well that goes from that bumper and then all along the side into the big wheel arches. Black alloy wheels and black mirror housings as well. And then at the back, again, it's kind of similar, but not exactly like the Ertiga because the tail light is different the tailgate is different as well. The taller roof rails and the stance of the car do make it appear to be higher riding than the Ertiga for sure. What is a surprise though, given the premium pitch, is that neither do you get larger wheels nor higher ground clearance than the Ertiga. The 185-65 R15 tyres are also the same as is the 180mm ground clearance. But the LED elements and chrome do make up somewhat. The small changes to metal and cladding add about 20 kgs of weight over the Ertiga besides those small dimension changes. On the inside, the XL6 has an all-black treatment in contrast to the Ertiga's beige two-tone. The dash gets what Maruti is calling stone finish garnish, unlike the four wood on the Ertiga, but otherwise it's the same touchscreen, instrument cluster with TFT info screen and climate control system. The front central cup holders though have an air vent each for air cooling your drinks. And I have to say it's pretty effective. Maruti says the seats are more bolstered and of course the top alpha trim gets them and the steering finished in black leatherette. A reverse camera and auto headlights are also only on the alpha trim. Three row seating has no bench option for row 2 like in the Ertiga. Yes, this is strictly a six seater. But you do get the same roof mounted AC unit for the rear passengers. A power socket for Road 2 would have been better served as a USB point. With captain seats at the back, more owners may prefer to let their chauffeur drive and so an additional USB option at the back would surely help. The drop-down armrest for the second row is good to have but is only comfortable at certain angles of the backrest and isn't independently adjustable for position. More important though, I would like to see the inclusion of at least an optional if not standard 6 airbag safety configuration. Currently the car only gets front dual airbags and ABS of course. 
plastic quality all round should have been better too given the emphasis the company is putting in trying to pitch the XL6 as superior and more premium to the Ertiga. The XL6 does get the touch screen as standard though and so you get Maruti's new Smart Play Studio with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, a decent sound system and it also has vehicle information and alerts. Ride quality is something that impressed us even on the Ertiga and it's of course mechanically similar here so which means you get good ride quality here too though there has been a little tweaking of the suspension according to Maruti and uh, that does show up because frankly in terms of uh, comfort you do find that the car is really nice to sit in both in the second and third row. Now that comes with a few riders. Maruti also says that it's bolstered the seats extra on the XL6 compared to the Ertiga. Honestly I don't pick up on that. It could have been a little bit more plump because then you just feel a little better ensconced into that seat. And the other thing which uh, has to be pointed out is that frankly in terms of space, the sense of space and also the legroom, this is pretty much on par now with the Innova Krista. The only thing that you don't get of course is the extra luggage room that uh, the third row will not give you that the Innova Krista still does. The air conditioning is fairly efficient too and uh, quite effective with the roof mounted vents servicing both the second and the third row and uh, you'll find that it's actually not bad even on reasonably longer drives though of course given a choice I'll sit in the second row. The car also gets cruise control on the automatic variant. It is great that the auto is available on both trims, Zeta and Alpha. The engine is also common, not just across variants but also with the Ertiga. The 103BHP K15B Petrol also gets the smart mild hybrid system as standard. And yes, this is BS6 from WordGo. Maruti has worked on the front suspension somewhat to account for the weight distribution but otherwise there are no changes to the chassis or suspension. If you're looking for a really fun, sporty, engaging car at this price point, the XL6 is not for you. This is not that car. It's not trying to be that car as well to be fair. And, uh, you know, the whole focus is on comfort and convenience and you're better off getting an SUV or actually in a sedan if you really want sporty, engaging driving because this isn't going to give you that. Now, the engine itself is fairly ample in its specs but it doesn't really translate on the road. It does the job but yes, it's no fire starter. It is well mated though to the manual gearbox and uh, very forgiving because the gear ratios have been worked out in a way that you don't have to downshift too much. You can carry on in the higher gears in overdrive and uh, in city traffic especially you'll really appreciate that. Now the question is how does the uh, automatic drive? Well, Seishan has his hands on that car so let's find out shall we? Overall, the car's performance will feel similar, except the automatic is even less responsive than the manual. However, the reason people will opt for the automatic is for convenience, and convenient it is. One of the reasons the engine feels less punchy is also due to some recalibrations that have been made for the transition to BS6. But yes, the XL6 could have benefited from different engine tuning to the Ertiga to give it a slightly higher output and more torque. 
That's a bit of a miss, I reckon, from Maruti, even if it would have meant a slight drop in mileage figures. The figures, though, are the same, despite the car being slightly heavier and a touch longer. The car does benefit from a relatively quiet cabin due to added work on sound insulation. I have to say, this does convey a refinement and plushness to the experience because it is pretty quiet. The XL6 is a welcome addition to the Maruti Suzuki family. Could it have been better? Yes. But it is still a car I can see plenty of families and individuals adopting. That's also because of how it is priced. Staying a tad under expectations, Maruti has priced the four variants reasonably well. And so they top off at 11,46,000 rupees X showroom. It may not be as big as the Innova and perhaps remains a tad lower on premiumness. But its right quality, cabin room, feature list, plus its styling will get people in to check out Nexa's first three-row car.